Hi, Alan here from Damn Good Reviews. Today, I have Portrait Pro 12, the Studio Edition, and it's version 12.2. Now, for anybody that doesn't know this program, it's a touch-up program, pretty much one-click touch-up program. Of course, it has a lot of other features, too. Now, I've been demoing this and testing this software out um, for about two months now, and I've used some previous versions of it as well. And let me tell you, the results are absolutely amazing and time-saving. So if you're shooting portraits, even if you're just shooting them for fun, and you're spending tons of time with touch-ups, this is going to save you tons of time. And for the price, you can't beat it. So of course the touch-ups that I've been doing, they don't want me to share, but everybody's feedback has been, I can't believe what this looks like, I look years younger. So let me just go ahead and show you. I did a, a couple test images thanks to the Flickr Creative Commons um, albums. So I'm going to go ahead and take this one. And of course, all the links for Flickr Creative Commons uh, are in the YouTube and as well as the review. So I gave everybody the proper credit. So this is just a, a sample right here. So the lighting is not that great. And remember, it's just really going to focus on the face. It's not going to do the neck area or anything else. We're just analyzing the face. So right away, it analyzes the facial features, and then we can select the type that we want to work with. Or we can discard and kind of start on our own with the outlines. So I'm going to click Female. It's going to analyze it even more. And then it's going to apply its own function right away, its own preset. So right away, you can see the difference. I mean, it's pretty amazing just with that. So I can go in here, and I can even make these a little bit different and work with the shadows and what the eyebrows look like. And you can do that throughout the face. Right here, I have a bunch of different presets. So we have a standard preset, and then we have other presets. That no sculpt, you know. And then we also have a full lighting. So it's working with the lighting to make her look completely different. And again, this is amazing for anyone taking any types of photos. And it doesn't have to be one person in the photo. You can do multiple people in the photos and go through each one. So this is a little bit over the top compared to the original, which sometimes that is the case. So I'm just going to do this one. But then maybe I want to enhance it some other way. So we can go into the facial sculpt controls. And we have a master fade, which will control pretty much everything. We can make it a little bit skinnier. Or we can go individual and work with the face shape. And even these break down even further. So we want to make the jaw a little bit different. And you can really go so far down that you really can make this person not like, look who it is. So we're working with the eyes. We can widen it, shrink, or widen the eyes. Kind of looks like the Soundgarden video for Black Hole Stone. We have the mouth shape, and of course that's going to be adjusted also if you adjust this a little bit too. So you have tons of features. And then we can make our neck a little bit longer if we wanted to. They also have a restore glasses shape, which must really just work with the glasses to make that, uh, that you know, the distortion that you get, I guess, from the glasses. Then we have our skin smoothing controls. We have our master fade where we see more of these freckles or we can go completely up where we see almost no freckles. But that looks a little bit almost very, very over the top. But then we can go in, we can also adjust shadows, which you'll see how the shadows kind of appear. We can remove pores. We can also remove the shine, depending on the type of look that you're going for. So really, we have everything from other skin lighting controls. We can adjust the shadows on the skin. Everything really is here. And what I've found is I make as many of the changes that I want here. They do have a basic touch up brush and a restore brush um, to take those in and out. So I'll just show that real quick. And we can take out little imperfections. But I find that if I use this as the Photoshop plugin or in conjunction with Photoshop, that I just go right back and forth. You know, I finish what I need to in here and then go into Photoshop and make some of the other final fine tuning. Um, by zooming in and using the Photoshop features. Uh, then we have other controls here. We have mouth and nose controls. We have lip saturation, contrast of the nose uh, based on shadows. We have hair controls. We want to do hair shine. Again, this one, the problem with this picture, it's not very well uh, lit. 
so you don't see some of the things there. And then we also have skin color controls. And you do get these tips that pop up and you can just say, hey, I don't want those anymore. But then we can also correct the outside of the face. We can do tint exposure or just basic exposure overall, depending on what you want to look like, you know. Tons and tons of options. And then we also have texture and these will also break down a little bit further. Then we have around the eyes and you see all the levels that this goes down to. I mean, it's completely amazing what you're going to do. Can you imagine how long this would take in Photoshop? I mean, you're looking probably at least half an hour to an hour, maybe more. And this was done in only a few minutes. And then we have our overall picture controls, which will do tint, exposure. So, you know, we can bring it up a little bit, but, you know, it's still not going to be the best um, based on what we brought in. Then we have smart contrast controls, which also uh, will help you know, the look and feel of it. And then if we want to use a crop tool, we can do that as well. And that will crop it up. So, I mean, look where we started and then look what we're at after. I mean, this is not a, a great job of what I've done here. I'm just showing you a lot of the controls. But then having so many of the controls here or the presets here, I mean, just the presets alone and then tweaking a few little things, it's really, really amazing. I mean, that, this is going to be going from female, it's called female 50 plus. So, you know, it's almost like one of those things, you know, this person has lost this, what they look like now, unfortunately. And then we have glamorous shots and then also other shots. So we have tons of the presets and I mean it's night and day compared to where it started. So you can only imagine what you can do for either people that you're working with or just your own portraits. Now I have worked with uh, portraits of uh, men and, and also children and also different skin tones and uh, they work excellent too. So let me show you one of those here. that. Very easy to use. Open the image. So we have a different skin tone here. Again, this is Flickr Creative Commons. Analyzing the face yet again. Female. And this one, the lighting is obviously a little bit better and uh, there's more enhancements on it already. So you see even this is a little bit over the top, but I can always bring that back down based on what I want to do and you know sometimes even the zoom might be a little bit much here when we see those enhancements but if you go to this and then we can go back down and bring the skin control down a little bit I mean we have it's a big difference even right there depending on what you want to use it for and again, sometimes those are a little bit over the top and you might want to work with that a little bit more so it doesn't look overly sculpted. I mean, even that, that looks really nice right there. And finally, let's just show you um, a male. Now this one uh, worked a little differently. You don't see as much as a, uh, much as a difference, but here you'll see a lot of the pores. So we're going to look at that right after, so I'm going to click Mail. And then after it analyzes, we'll see. So right now, we're looking at a lot of the pores here on its face. So we're going to skin smoothing, so let's get rid of some of the imperfections here. And you see all that starts to disappear. smooth eye bags. There's a lot of a lot of different features here. And I'm gonna see more pores here. And then if I bring it up, see those pores start to disappear compared to this other one. Now for this touch up brush I tried to remove this right here and it starts to remove it a little bit. But I have seen to have better luck with doing things like that just in Photoshop. So that, that's, those are the touch-ups that I like to do in Photoshop. And then also if I come over here and just check out some of these other presets, we do things like add mouth smile, so it made him look like he's smiling a little bit. Plump lips, red lips, and a lot of really different features. We're going to do uh, enhanced color. Coming back out of here, you'll see. 
difference between the two. And again, this one, because I'm just doing a lot of the features and laying them over each other, that it looks a little bit over the top. And of course, you don't have to do that. So we'll do a young male. Glamorous. No sculpt. female glamorous to see how they all work and how it works with the different bone structures so really a uh, really cool program definitely worth the price again if you're doing any types of portrait photos or anything in that realm where um, people are going to be in it it's going to save you tons of, tons of time I recommend checking out this portrait pro uh, professional version 12 uh, it also works as a uh, plug-in with uh, Photoshop which is great because you can go right back and forth um, loving this program and, and highly recommend it and uh, really loved reviewing and demoing it I'm Alan from Damn Good Reviews thanks for watching make sure to check out more reviews on our YouTube channel and of course uh, check us out at damngoodreviews.com